we're going to add a few more features to our map. Let's go back to Add, Search for Layers. Since we already have My Organization selected and we have Buffer selected, we can go ahead and add the next buffer, and that's Buffer of Fault Lines. Click on Add. Then we're going to change from My Organization back to ArcGIS Online. And instead of buffer, we're going to type global fault lines and press the return key. And the one we want now is this global faults layer from Arc Atlas. And click add. And that's going to add some nice black lines into our other boundary. We can then click done adding layers again. Now because our fault buffer zone and our tectonic plate buffer zone are pretty much the same color, it's a little bit hard to tell apart. So we're going to change the color of our fault line buffer. And this is going to look a little bit different than previously in the movie because they've updated their interface. So if you mouse over buffer of fault lines, we're going to find our change style button here the triangle square circle button. Click on that. We need to click on the options button here. And then we need to click on symbols. And that's going to let us change the color and we can also change the outline if we like. So I'm going to pick a kind of faint red color. And for the outline I'm going to pick a darker red. And Let's just make this one pixel, line width. And click OK. And we can see what it kind of looks like. Then we'll click OK. And we can click Done. Then we're going to rename this layer here. So to do that, we're going to click the three little dots here. And in the future in these help movies, if you, if you see me click on a triangle at the end, that's the old way that they did it. The new way is this three dots here, which represents more options, and we're going to find rename down the list. And we're going to keep global faults, and we'll just change that to global fault lines, and click OK. And because we've added some stuff, and you never know when something's going to crash. Let's click Save and Save again. And because we've already put in all of the information, we don't have to do anything else but that. And now, ladies and gentlemen, you will find that there are some questions for this movie and these new fault lines that we've added to the map and, of course, the buffer zone. One thing that's going to be helpful for these questions is you may need to zoom in a little bit more in order to see city and town names come up. If you zoom out too much, then all those disappear. Just keep that in mind.